You oh. mentioned plumbing, so what would be the difference between us and Pimlico plumbers? Would it be just uh, the, the cost? Because obviously Pimlico plumbers would co come out instantly if it's a call out, but you're going to be paying three times as much money. Okay. I'll give you, I'll start with price, uh, yeah. but I don't wanna, I don't wanna go down that yeah. route. Yeah. Let's talk about transparency, let's talk about technology, let's talk about detailed reports, efficiency, and care. Now, all our guys are not subcontractors. Yeah. They're directly employed by Trio. Yeah. They've been with us since the beginning of time. The eight engineers that we have on the road know how we think, know how we work, and know how our client wants to receive whether it's work or message. Mm -hmm. So we have to understand that there's a lot of value in this mm -hmm. because it's not a subcontractor going out and just getting the job done mm -hmm. and you know, tap a couple of things on the iPad next to my next mm -hmm. job. That's not what we're here for. Main trio is, and, and, and this part of collaboration with New on, on the new aftercare is about a transparent service. Yeah. And let's not talk about price, but if we want to go there, um, we're talking a, you know, a fraction of the price. Yeah. Uh, so in, in each van, is what technologies do the boys use in their vans? Like, have they got all sort of apps on their iPads or just... So the guys have apps that is live <laughs> interlinked with our office. So yeah. every move that they make, um, obviously uh, they're carrying their phone, yeah. uh, we know about. So if there's any information the landlord or the client would want... So it's all GPS driver. track, like everyone knows where Everyone is. knows, befores and afters, videos, yeah. everything is instant. The moment it goes on the app, which it does, when they're, when they're on site, they take photos of absolutely everything and it gets directed to our office. So the client will receive it the same day. Yeah. Uh, it's all very transparent. We actually offer a service which is not included in this, but it might do depending on you know how how we go and if the client you know we, it may even be the first sort of ten we may even offer this where the client can actually log in to our system and see his file and activity. I think that is quite cool. So if it's a uh, a client, obviously they would have signed up for the the, the actual package. Yeah. They then can probably download an app and they could probably don't even have to call you. No. They just push the button on the app. And see the activity and log the activity. And that, and that app, we're talking about the technology reading, pressure losses in the house. If it's in the client's houses we're dealing with. Correct. If we're building this into the house. Correct. That app could tell you. 100%. If we where go down. the potential leak is. Correct. Or if the client, any If the client opts to go down the preventive maintenance route, yeah. uh, that is something that will be available as well. Yeah. 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 And that's not even a lot of money, is it? No. no. That, so these devices are. Um, well, maybe £300 per property. Yeah. And that will cover bathroom, kitchen, yeah. and another division. Yeah. Maybe th three divisions, which yeah. obviously high moisture and leak uh, type divisions, which is your bathroom, your kitchen, yeah. and maybe living room due to the amount of windows you have, so it yeah. causes a lot of breeze and condensation, yeah. so that can be detected straight away. Like, you, know, you can imagine if past clients of us now, because yeah. we, we still get phone calls now. You do, you do, it's, and it's not nothing to do with new, and it's nothing to do with the contractors, it just happens, you know? So, and I think that's where the aftercare goes a long way, because you know, it's just that peace of mind that, you know, within the year or however many years, you know, there's going to be something, right? If we're talking constant usage of bathrooms, constant usage of sinks, motors, blinds, whatever it is, something's bound to go, you know? So no matter how small the problem is, maybe uh, we've got a contract with a family and, and the husband's away and uh, the, the, the client wants loads of bulbs changed. You, you can go around to change the bulbs. Change the bulbs. Yeah. Change the bulbs. And Fuses, that, just uh, basic stuff. To anything hold. from changing a doorknob to changing a fuse to, yeah. you know, something a little bit more aggressive, which hopefully won't happen because that's not the tendency of uh, news build, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I think it's important to say, you know, you get a list with, with technology, high technology in, in homes, you will find that sometimes the landlords or the clients don't know how to use certain manuals. And sometimes they may even call us out yeah. where, you know, and the problem was they forgot to flick the switch. It's important to mention that they won't get charged for that. It's included in the service. Uh, so the price they pay on a yearly basis uh, for the aftercare is literally, they'll only get charged um, the fraction of the permanent So when we finish, say if we finish the property next week and it's done, uh, Ronnie's got all the manuals together <clears throat> and we're gonna, so we're gonna introduce them to you for the initial sign up, so they, you go around there, 100%. You, you, you pitch your picture services, they sign up, um, and that's it. And that's it. And that's it. And that's it, literally. And um, there'd be, so for the membership, 
there'd be one fee, and for every call out, there'd be a call out fee? Uh, so no, no call out fee. So for example, um, the, the going rate in London for a reputable, and it's important to say this, a reputable contractor yeah. is £60 an hour yeah. uh, for a handyman type work. So yeah. changing a door, not painting, patch yeah. painting, changing, uh, I don't know, uh, a door, £60 an hour. For electrics and gas, uh, 80 pounds an hour yeah. and plumbers, right? That is a fair going rate. So anyone yeah. watching this video, if you are paying more than that, please do question because yeah. you shouldn't be paying. A well-structured maintenance company should should be able to run on 60 and 80, depending on the trade. Exactly. So and you talk about GPS as well, because some trades, when they come to, come to see you, they need a part, they jump in the van, they disappear for a couple of hours, Yeah. maybe go and do another job, and then they come back and they charge you for the two hours they've gone away. And this is common, this is common, and this is why part of the reason we have the technology in place, because that's not how we operate. So if a new engineer comes into Trio and decides to really act, be active on his old activity, we can track that. Yeah. Uh, and you can't control people, at the end of the day, you cannot. What you can do is have the appropriate systems and policies in place mm -hmm. to minimize certain activity. Yeah. Uh, so back to your question, the call-out rate, there is no call-out rate, there is only a call-out charge if we fix the issue and investigate it and quote further, which would be £35 for the hour. Right. So not your. So if you actually, if, you, if we have a call from the client and there's nothing to do, there is no, no charge. charge. Okay. Right. But if there is something to do, it's thirty-five. Then it's thirty-five per hour plus whatever material, material, is. material there is. Correct. Correct. That's good. Correct. No, I like that. I like that. And um, your staff, you said you've, they've been working for you for many uh, years. Seven years. Yeah. Are they, seven years. Are, did, are they vetted? Do you get? Do they get? Hundred percent. All of them are. Um, checked, um, obviously we, we work with housing associations yeah. and co-ops, obviously um, the tenancies there are a little bit more uh, sensitive, so yeah. we have to have the appropriate checks yeah. on them to make sure yeah. obviously no one's having any criminal activity yeah. and whatnot. Absolutely, we're going into people's homes, so we take that very seriously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, you know, I think you know, we're going to be definitely implementing this into uh, new, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe it'll probably be up and running within a few weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, it'd be something where, you know, if our viewers out there are thinking about coming to new, it's just an extra valid value Absolutely. service we can offer them. Absolutely. And also it, it would just work well with what we're adding already. Absolutely. So I agree it blends that, yeah. in really well. Maybe as well, if it's even, if, if people are watching and they're not even our clients, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but they want this service. Yeah. You know, they could always uh, get in contact with us. Uh, 100%, please do. 020 773 16841. And we can sort of, obviously, we can sign them up through the new care package, Absolutely. Absolutely. which then you can take care of. Absolutely. And maybe even if, if there's any management companies or landlords who want this kind of service. Works very well for landlords, yes. Uh, HMOs owners, so uh, landlords who are quite big on HMOs, obviously dealing with multiple tenancies, multiple rooms, yeah. more likely that there will be damage and maintenance yeah. issues. It works very and well. And so, what is this preventative? Do, do, you know, because this is what we talked about earlier. Yeah. For landlords and management blocks, putting measures into the property to prevent the tech future fleets. problems. Yeah. Correct. So I think that's a, that, that's a really important thing to sort of mention yeah. as well because for a little investment, the landlords are going to be protected from potential leaks in the future because the leak can be spotted because maybe there's a change in moisture, moisture pressure, um, air, condensation. So when, when this when this this check pressure test pressure thing sets off, do who, who gets the alarm? Do you get the alarm? We get the alarm. The landlord gets the alarm as well? The, alarm, the, the landlord will be notified. So right. ideally how it would work, because as I said, you know, a preventative maintenance will need to have a float, normally 250, because it enables us to go out, buy what material we need and fix the issue, rather than, which is a common issue, is right, we have a problem, and then we need to go to the landlord to get approval on something that will cost 100 pounds. Not to forget, that can go on for five days. Five days is enough for that preventative reaction to turn into it's now reactive yeah. Um, yeah so we're just trying to prevent and minimize time to action the issue that could cost Is, thousands do you know anyone else doing this because i don't uh no there's no one else doing it in the country Not where's the, the technology made where, who, germany germany have you actually got any of these devices in the uk yes we've got samples in our office today 
Yeah. And we're negotiating on volume because we understand that it's going to be uh, a volume type business, right? A volume type product. Um, so maybe next time you come in, let's bring a couple of those devices in. And we can I think we should do, we should do another we done, yeah, do a sure. little video about that because I think that is really good. Yeah. Um, and it solves the problem. Even, again, when we're doing our, 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 our fit outs, we can put those into the, the house anyway. Yeah. So for, for net, and that could be something new can buy for the client and it's just part of the service anyway. Correct. So that links because in. Because it, it all links into that the links aftercare. Into there. So the aftercare is the same money. It's just a, yeah. another, another layer of value the client gets for free. Absolutely, absolutely. So instead of the client having to identify it visually, obviously you can't identify what's above their ceiling, yeah. we will know before the client has a visual of a yellow mark or a leak mark, yeah. which I think, you know, it will cost maybe a thousand pounds to repair a ceiling. Yeah. Uh, it could cost 250 quid to yeah. prevent prevent it from happening. Sounds good. Well, cheers, mate. Thanks Thank for coming you, Thank you for having awesome. me. Awesome. Great stuff. Well, come on board. Thank you very much. Nice to be on board. Thank you. Well. Cheers. Thank you very much. Cut. That went well. That went well. That went really well.